Okay, we're here at Alum Cave to Le Conte, or to Mount Le Conte, and it is a five mile hike up to the cabins, and then another 0.7 of a mile up to, I think it's called Myrtle Point. Anyway, we're here and we're That's getting started. That's a praise God moment. <laughs> we'll keep you posted on how it goes along the way. <laughs> There's a creek. Woohoo! This is the trailhead sign. So we are beginning our trek. Okay, for perfect off-trail activities, we have this nice rock slide for you. So, but it's at your own risk. No lifeguards available. Okay, here goes Sam walking across the tree bridge. We're maybe a little winded right now. Nothing major, but definitely everything is an uphill climb. So, straight up, five miles. It's good. All good. Loud. What I think is the Alum Cave. So Alum Cave. Walk up. Okay, he's telling me I'm not loud enough. This is just my voice. So, anyway, we're getting ready to walk across this tree bridge and up through the cave. You can see the steps right there. And so, here we go. Hang on. That is really cool. Okay, we have to pause for a minute for a picture. Selfie time. <laughs> These are steps, and there are many. And they go on for a ways. All right, we're not winded much, I would say. Sam may be. No, I'm just kidding. We're both a little winded. But it is so cool. I'm taking pictures while he's taking pictures. So cool. And this isn't even all of it. We have more to come. So really exciting trail today. And okay, while we're taking a breather here, guys, this I just wanted to point this out. They have these. Uh, can you see this in the video? They have these little, um, I want to call them rails, but ropes. cables. Cables, yes that you can hang on to along the way. And there, these are here actually quite often because this trail For a reason. is straight up. And it's all like slate rock and slippery. I've heard that the trail is always wet, so it's definitely wet here today, um, even though it's not raining. So I don't know. I definitely would not do this trail in the winter time because it would be icy, um, considering the fact that it's straight uphill. And then down the hill, I think that could be a problem. But we're still moving on, so <laughs> we'll keep you posted. All right, we're at another interesting part of the trail, and Summer is taking pictures and climbing it and using a cable while doing so, just like the other people above us. Oh my goodness, she is multi-talented people. But all in all, this is a wonderful trail. And I do highly recommend it to any adventurous spirit who is not faint of heart. Who is not faint of heart. But I do suggest that you pray before you begin. And then you pray continually after the first 12 feet into the trail. Anyway, seriously though, this is a great trail. And it's a long one. We're now an hour into the hike, and the trail is awesome. Moving up, moving but uphill, straight uphill. No pressure. I can feel my heart beat a little bit. It's good. Makes you know that you're alive. I feel my heart beat a lot. I think we mean, need more exercise on a regular basis. <laughs> or ravioli. 
No, ravioli's the reason why we're not doing <laughs> as we're not we're not even to the top and check out the view. That is so cool. By view, were you specifically talking about me or Oh yes, here's the same there we view. Go. There we go. <laughs> and still going up. And we're about to the bluff, so I think maybe just keep recording. I don't know, we'll see here. No, I guess we Guess what? We got stairs again, y'all. I'm still waiting for my heartbeat to be back normal, but same as rebuking the stairs. I don't think it works that way because we still have to climb them either way, but <laughs> anyways, we're moving. We're going. We just saw the most awesome view, and we're still trying to get to the bluff, so we're supposed to be almost there. Okay, we're videoing a snail. It's a slow process, but he's a moving. His name's Bob. <laughs> Bob the snail. And now we're watching Summer as she begins her ascent of the steps. That are bigger than all the others to the bluffs. And a little recap here because I forgot to tell you. So I'm wearing, let's see here, I'm wearing a llama shirt. And the reason for that is, um, a cool Goodwill find by the way, but a reason for that is they take llamas, a llama train, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this trail, and that's how they get the supplies up to the cabins at La Conte, because there's no power there, no electricity, so they actually, people stay there. You have to book a year in advance, and they will bring your food and linens and things like that up, up to you, and then they bring, like, trash and whatever back down the hill with the llama train, so that's what the llama shirt is for, so just a little recap, forgot to mention it, <laughs> and we're off up the stairs. Still walking stairs, guys. I thought the part we just showed you was it, but we're still moving. Still going. The heavy breathing you hear is me. Keep the camera rolling because we're to the bluff. <laughs> awesome. This is an awesome view. So they say when it rains that the water will come off this rock into a waterfall top situation but it has to be raining i guess for it to be that so. which is a possibility later on today <laughs> this is the view from the bluffs There's a squirrel right there. I heard of aggressive squirrels, so they are very tame here. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's looking for a cracker. I don't know where he went. He disappeared. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so, Sam is walking up the steps. We lost count. We don't know if this is like the fifth set the tenth we don't know we've lost count there's just it's it's steps steps and rocks steps and rocks and he's not talking right now because i guess he's not expressing his feelings about how many steps there are <laughs> okay well there you have it sam's intake on more steps uphill we go okay i can feel my heartbeat in my back right now so we're yes. three hours in. Three hours in? Okay, so yeah, and we're almost, according to the last person we talked to, we're, he said a mile and a half, and that was a little ways back to the Leconte cabin. So hopefully where there are facilities and we can eat a cracker and recuperate and start our trudge back down the hill again. But anyways, I'm telling you. It's a this job. This is the hardest trail I've ever walked, and it is rated difficulty i mean it is rated for difficulty so we knew that before we did it and just kind of prayed about it because you know but um it's good where well, i'm determined we're gonna make it to the top and sam knows i don't we're gonna make it even if goal. she has to carry me the rest of the I way don't back down from a goal we're reaching that goal that means the very end <laughs> so we're gonna keep trudging on with our heartbeats in our back <laughs> getting ready to cross this little uh creek a little just a little it's not really a creek but the water's definitely running across here and then you see we go back up rocks on the other side see if i can film and walk 
this at the same time. They said that it got somewhere about a, I think a mile, I don't know, but anyway, it got a little rougher. So this is like, I don't even know if you could call this part a trail. This is just like rock. So here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost to the end of the trail. Well, I wouldn't and... say the end because I think that's a lizard right there. I wouldn't say the end of the trail, but um, we're almost to Leconte Cabins. But we're on like, I don't know, I forgot how many steps we had. So we got more. Yay, yippee. And we're going and to watch Summer climb we the steps. We are actually going 0.7 miles past Leconte Cabins to Myrtle Point, which you're supposed to be able to see like all the way around up there. So. A little bit further, but we'll stop at the cabins and eat a cracker and drink some water and recuperate. So it'll be good. So here we go. Stair number a million. I don't know. <laughs> but it's good. Like, I'm excited. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to do this. So it's good. She says trucking. I say trudging. But whatever the case, we will get there. More trail shots to enjoy. We're about 45 minutes away from the cabins from what we've been told. That's what they said. I was hoping for five minutes, but we're doing good. Hey, hey. You're rolling. Okay. I'm gonna get the view behind you. Yes. So, this is just a little bit of the view that is to come, so. And we're still moving uphill, so everybody says another mile, another mile, and it's another mile, so we're still going. Believe it or not, out of words. Here, hold on to the party or option. Hey, wait a second. Just part of the trail here, side of it. Just wanted to show you the water coming off this mossy rock here. It almost looks kind of like Rock City. It looks looks like something you'd see at Rock City, but it's pretty. So just moving on up, still to go, still climbing. It's the hey guys, we're three and a half hours into our hike and we are almost to the cabins. There's Hang summer. In. It's good. I'm excited that I got to do this. To use a quaint little country phrase, she's hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit. That's gross. <laughs> anyway, we are almost to the cabins. It has been a incredible hike. Whether you like it or not, you would enjoy this. But anyway, I'll hand you back to the boss. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pause here, and we're not going to film again until we get to the cabins. Okay, so we have made it, y'all. Like Sam found a bench. It exists. Look, facilities. Here are the cabins. So you can rent these cabins. I think they say like a year in advance. And you could come stay, which we didn't know about in time. So we have to walk it all back down, which it'll be better because it's downhill. But anyway, we made it. We made it to our destination. So... Uh, we'll show you more in a minute. We still got one, well, kind of our destination. So this is the Leconte cabins, but we are going to Myrtle Point, so to take some good view pictures. So anyway. Okay, so we have made it to the gift shop. Did you just buy a glass or it's like only during dinner? I hiked it. I hiked it. So apparently you can come in here if you know to bring money, which I didn't know that this was here, so we didn't know to bring money. So just a little heads up. If you want to buy something, bring some money. How long have you As guests? Yeah. One night. But you can stay for three nights. Usually most people just stay for one. Awesome. Yeah. Can I have six cookies? Yes, sir. Please, 
Well, we made it to the cabins, and now we're on the trail to Myrtle Point. We ate our crackers. We still have raisins. We didn't bring a whole lot because of bears, so it's just never a good idea to bring a lot of food with you, especially things that are really smelly. But um, there is a gift shop. I was kind of being quiet in it. It's a very small gift shop, but it is there, so, you know, bring some money. We didn't know that it, it was there, so we didn't know to bring money. But we did come prepared, so we've had we've had waters and Gatorade and crackers, so we're doing good. <laughs> so, um, anyway, we're on our way to the next one, and I think they said it's point, when we get to the little fork right here, it's point seven of a mile to get to it, and then um, that will be where we're stopping. There's, like, literally probably, like, what five or six more trails that you could yeah. do here but we're not going to do all those today so anyway this will be it for today and and so that's it we'll see you at myrtle point okay so here are the signs so you can see you know we'd have to go back left or right here to go back down the trail we came on but there's also like dual head trail bullhead. or bullhead i can't read the sign through the phone cherokee orchard um boulevard trail uh, Myrtle Point, that's right there where we're going on the bottom side, and then Appalachian Trail. So you have like plenty of choices here to choose from. We're just going to Myrtle Point today and then turning back around and going back the way we came because we're familiar with it and we don't want to get lost or away from our vehicle. So, so that's what we're doing. Moving on. Oh look, more stairs. Yay! So this part of the trail, so we're still going to Myrtle Point, but it's so it's different than the rest of the trail so you can see how the trees are all just kind of spaced out there and there's a lot of moss you can see all the moss down through here it almost looks like fairyland or something i don't know like you expect some gnomes to come out at any minute <laughs> but it's very different from you know the rest of the trail which is where we were climbing up rock and different things this is more of just an easy pace although I am still I still breathing hard because just everything has been an uphill climb and uh, although I walk on a daily basis I do not do an uphill climb to this extent <laughs> so definitely want to be prepared for that okay here's another trail so you could take cliff tops which is 0.3 of a mile but I was told that Myrtle Point is the best so that's the direction we're going so we'll see you at the top Okay, so here we have made it right here to the next sign. It says Myrtle Point, um, 0.2 mile, 0.2 of a mile. So we're almost there. And then here's your other sign that tells you you could still go on the Appalachian Trail for another 4.6 miles, or you can go down the Mayfound Gap Trail for another 7.3. So, yeah. So this is where we're at, and here's our... Once again, still uphill, rocky path. Look at that. So on our way, we're almost there. We've almost reached our destination point today. We have a friend on the trail with us. Pretty little doe. She is just enjoying everything. So we're here. We're about 12 feet from her. And she's just looking at us enjoying life. As long as she don't run this way, we're good. <laughs> but she is a beautiful animal. Maybe we'll see some more to show you on the way down. Hey guys, we made it. We're like literally on top of the world. Or at least on top of the Smoky Mountains. I don't know. But we're going to do a shot that takes you all the way around 360. But how cool is this? We're in the clouds right now. It is awesome. So excited. Look at that. Best view you will ever see. I do not think that you can find a better view than this of the Smoky Mountains. If you do, I want to know about it. So, but I think this tops off anything I have ever, ever done. Any trail I've ever walked, this tops it off. And I have to say, so Chimney Rock in North Carolina has been the best trail up until now, but I have to say this may have beat it. So, and we're in the clouds. We're good. Yeah. Hey, where I? Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's hey. really cool. Say something. It's awesome. 
<laughs> we're done. I'm we're done. we're not done though. We have to walk all the way back down. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, I guess this is why they call this Myrtle Point. So I think all of these trees, and you can, I don't know if you can hear the bees or not, but they're everywhere. All of these are myrtles, I, I do believe. And there's just like, they're everywhere up here. Just tons. There's Sam standing high on his rock. So, so pretty. And then this, look at this beautiful, he was just pointing this out. Look at this beautiful tree here. What is this called again? It's, it's like a, a pine or a fir. It's really pretty. Just beautiful. Beautiful. We're on top of the mountain right now, y'all. On top of the world. 60, 62 or 6,900 feet. Look at that over there. It looks like a chimney. Straight in front of you. Like the, well, yeah, right there. <laughs> How cool. You can see the cloud. I think we're like actually above some of the clouds. It's cool. It's just beautiful. Absolutely love it. Worth it. Totally worth the trip.